All right, how's this frame looking? Looking good. <clears throat> yeah, originally this wasn't the plan. It was supposed to be somewhere a lot more scenic, but uh, the weather was really nasty and it is now 9.30 at night. So I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet. Hey everybody, today is February 9th, uh, Thursday. So tomorrow, February 10th, 2023, I am going to be asking the girl I love to marry me. <sighs> Man, it's felt, it's felt real all week. Um, I've been planning this whole thing for like, it feels like months. It, I mean, it's probably only been like a month and a half, but it feels like a lot longer than that. <laughs> I am very ready and very excited for tomorrow. So yeah, quick rundown. Um, I would love to sit here and tell you all the wild and miraculous story of how me and Sean came to this point and how we got to this day. Um, but I'm gonna save that for another video or at least save it for later. Um, we'll come back to it. But today we're just gonna be talking about the proposal itself. So the plan was pretty simple. I always had a rough idea of what the plan would be. Been working on this, like I said, about a month and a half or so, maybe a month. Um, and the plan was to have somebody come to Sean as a client and say, hey, we want to book a photo shoot. Um, I was going to tell this client to go and do that. And then they were going to plan the shoot. Sean was going to think that it was a client shoot. And then lo and behold, I'm there the client in question ended up being my sister and her husband Aaron uh yeah shout out to Kayla and Aaron couldn't have done this without you guys um especially Kayla because she helped me uh with like a bunch of decorations and stuff uh we'll talk about that in a minute so then uh, a couple weeks ago I decided the location was like the hardest part to decide because there's not really anywhere scenic to go um in the middle of February here in southern Indiana so we decided to do it inside. We are going to the Loft studio tomorrow. I've actually never been to the Loft, so this is gonna be a first. Uh, I've scheduled the appointment from like four to six. Uh, Sean thinks it's gonna be from five to six. So Sean's gonna show up at five expecting to be taking pictures of Kale and Aaron, but I will have already been there. And I was going to have set up the whole thing. And then she comes in, she's surprised, it's me. Oh my gosh, will you marry me? You know, all that good stuff. So that's what's happening tomorrow. That is the plan. And then afterwards, we are gonna have a little dinner party um, with some of her like closest friends and a bunch of our family. So it's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be uh, really great. So obviously before you come to the point of the proposal, there are three things you need. The first thing, and probably the most important thing, is the ring. What is up everybody? Welcome to the first leg of this uh proposal journey. So I just got off work. I am about to head over and go pick up the ring. So to be completely honest, I don't know if they have it right now. I think that they do, but I'm not totally sure. Uh, but either way, we're about to go find out. So they actually did have it, which is exciting. I wasn't totally sure. I guess I still have some explaining to do though, because why would I be getting the ring through FedEx? Um, basically, I just got it online. I can share more details later, but right now I really just want to open this thing up. So, well, they did it nice and secure. That's nice. So we have a book on marriage. There it is. Gosh, that's it right there. Been waiting on this for like a month, so I've been very excited about this. Kind of nervous. Why are my hands shaking? Don't know how the actual proposal is going to go if opening up the box is making me this nervous. <laughs> All right, 
right, here we go. <gasps> wow. So yeah, I uh, I mail ordered the ring. Uh, I got it from a company called The Faithful Platform, as you guys saw. Phenomenal company. They were super great to work with. Worked with a guy named Jared. Um, <laughs> he went to Jared. It's Jared's cooler. The whole process is like customized. So you send them pictures of what you want and they custom make the ring. If you have any desire to check them out or you plan on proposing to your significant other, um, be sure to go down in the description below. I've got an affiliate link if you want to check that out. Just go to the link down below. Now for the second and maybe more important element to proposing to your girlfriend is asking her father's permission. All right, everyone. It is Wednesday, January 11th. I am leaving work right now. Um, I am about ready to go and meet with Mr. Cox. A little bit nervous, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, this is kind of like the most nerve wracking part of the whole thing. <laughs> like, I don't think he's gonna say no. Um, I just don't know what his reaction is gonna be. Um, Cause I don't know like if he's expecting it or not. I'm going to get out of here. I will get back with you all either when I get to the restaurant or after we have the talk. It's done. It's finished. All right, so we just finished up, gave a lot of really solid advice, and uh, yeah, it went pretty well. He said yes. <laughs> so we have, the, we have the go ahead. We can start planning stuff. This was really nerve wracking. I mean, I don't think I had any reason to be. Um, yeah, Mr. Cox is uh, pretty awesome. I'd be pretty lucky to have a father-in-law like him. So now that we have the two most important things out of the way, we are now able to talk about the fun, lighthearted stuff. And that is the setup and location and everything. All right, everybody, today is the big day. It is 325 right now. I'm about to head to the loft uh, right now. Got everything loaded up back there, as you can see. A little bit nervous, but overall feeling pretty good. Um, I haven't slept like all week, so I'm pretty tired too. It's probably not helping any. <laughs> I'm meeting Kayla at four at the lock. We're gonna get everything loaded in there, set up, and then Chris and Jordan will be there. So yeah, I will see you all when I get there. All right, it is 10 till. We just got everything set up here for the most part. There's Kayla. Say hi, Jordan and Chris. They're back there tucked away. So this is what she's gonna see. This light's kind of blinding her because there's going to be a camera right there. And this is the setup here. There's Kayla. Got the light. FX30 over there. I think we're ready to go. All right, it's 5 o'clock now. We're all just hanging out, waiting for her to get here. It'll be any minute now. Her mom just texted me and said that she doesn't have a clue, so... So ready for this. I think a question a lot of people ask whenever you're getting engaged or getting married or whatever, it's when did you know? How did you know? When did you know? Probably the first day me and Sean started talking, honestly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course, we had our ups and downs throughout the past, you know, seven months. I knew there was a really good chance that this was going to happen um, whenever she, uh, she invited me back to the shop. Sean's... Uh, Sean's everything that I uh, I could ask for in a girl. And more than anything, I can't wait for us to be able to spend the rest of our lives together. And it's always it's so crazy to me to think about how it all happened. Um, just the fact that she went from being a complete and total stranger to me, to being the person who I couldn't imagine living life without. That's the funny thing about falling in love, I guess. It really sneaks up on you. I'm probably gonna shut this off now, go to bed, get some sleep. Tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's a big day. I'm probably not gonna sleep tonight at all. She's here. Is she parked? She's parking now. She's in the back? Okay. 
with the new secretary to slide on. How's your day, man? Good. <laughs> <laughs> you good? <laughs> Come here. Well, actually, I have to take a step like that way. There you go. You're good. Okay. I knew since the day that you invited me back to the shop <laughs> the first time that I was going to want to marry you. And uh, I love you more than anyone that I've ever met. And there's nothing more I want with my life than to spend it with you. So, Sean Cox. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Is this real? Here, yeah, I kind of need to put it on your finger first. Here, you can stand back up. to kind of like process everything and all the craziness and the excitement uh i finally got some sleep but yeah the proposal went really well all things considered um a lot of stuff could have gone wrong and it didn't the proposal went awesome uh we went out to eat after it was uh after it was all over with our family and some of sean's friends she was surprised by that too because she wasn't expecting to see like all the people that were there but yeah it went really great we all had a great time and i reckon now it's time to start planning a wedding all right everyone i think that's it for me thanks for watching good night i love you all i will talk to you later